Hello everybody! In today's video I'll tell you about several low-budget gaming builds based on Intel CPUs that you can get from AliExpress and upgrade your old computer. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. If you want to build a gaming PC but your budget is too tight to buy the newest ports, this video may come in very handy. At AliExpress you can buy ready-made computers based on several processors. In terms of performance, they are a good match for Core i5 and even Core i7 while they cost several times less. There are a few types of builds to choose from – cheaper computers with moderate performance and more expensive rigs with a good boost. All of them are based on second-hand server CPUs and memory modules. Generally speaking, if used at stock frequencies, these parts have sufficient margins of safety for years of work and are just as good as new, except for being a bit outdated, so you shouldn't worry about their breaking down soon. And one more thing. If you doubt the relevance of such server processors, you'd better think twice, because new generations of desktop CPUs rolled out every year don't actually differ that much in terms of performance. For example, the seemingly old second-generation Intel Core i7-2600K introduced back in 2011 is still a good match for modern 8th generation CPUs. Server processors from AliExpress have specifications similar to those of Core i7, and some even outperform the 2600K model. When compared to builds made of brand new parts, the server-type computers can be at least 3 or even 5 times cheaper. The ready-made sets of parts include a server-type processor, a motherboard with a corresponding socket type, and server-type system memory designed specifically for server CPUs only. Such memory costs less because it is only used with a few CPU models. If you want, you can add a graphics card, but the cards offered for these builds are too weak, so this should be bought locally. At the moment, the sound choice are builds on socket 1366 or socket 2011. In case you own a computer with an old Socket 775 motherboard, there is a good chance to upgrade it. The first build features a 6-core 12-thread processor Intel Xeon X5650 with a clock speed of 2.6 GHz and 12 MB uh, a level 3 cache that is almost equal to a 5th generation Core i7 processor. Huanan X58 motherboard with 6 power phases, 2 DDR3 memory slots supporting 16 100 MHz models, a 6-channel audio chip and one PCI Express slot. 8 GB of DDR3 memory operating at the frequency of 1333 MHz in two models 4 GB each and a stock cooler. And this set will cost uh, from $140 to $150. When coupled with a good graphics card like uh, GTX 1050 or better, this build will run the latest games at high settings. In terms of performance, such rig will be equal to machines built on 5th or 6th generation Core i7 processors. The disadvantages of such build are a very simple stock cooler and limited RAM size. The matter is that this motherboard only has two memory slots, so you can't just add more sticks. The only way is to replace them. The most you can get is 16 GB of RAM, that is two models, 8 GB each. With a better cooler and the maximal system memory size of 16 GB, the build will cost about $200. Computers based on socket 1366 will be cheaper, and those on socket 2011 more expensive, but they do offer more bang for the buck. The second variant is based on a more powerful socket 2011 CPU, uh, Xeon E5-2640. This is a mighty 6-core 12-thread processor with a clock speed of 2.5 GHz and 15 MB level 3 cache. 
The offer also includes a Huanan X79 motherboard featuring an M2 port, 4 DDR3 memory slots supporting up to 64GB of RAM, 7 power phases with radiators on them and 2 PCI Express slots for graphics. The last element is 8GB of DDR3 memory operating at a frequency of 1333 MHz supplied as a kit of two models, 4GB each. This set doesn't include a CPU cooler, so you'll have to buy it on your own. This build will remain competitive in terms of gaming for at least a few years, and provided you have a powerful graphics card, it will handle easily both present-day games and future projects. The motherboard has 4 RAM slots, so you can easily upgrade it from 8 to 16 GB, and this set will cost from $240 to $250. The next build is based on Socket 2011 with a more powerful CPU, Xeon E5-2660. This is an 8-core 16-thread processor with a base clock speed of 2.2 GHz that can go up to 3 GHz in turbo mode and 20 MB of level 3 cache. It comes with the same motherboard, Huanan X79, and the memory kit of 16 GB working at 1333 MHz, 4 models, 4 GB each. The motherboard Huanan X79 supports up to 64GB, 4 modules of 16GB, system memory with a maximal frequency of 1866MHz. And the price is $300. To my mind, this build is a bit too powerful for what you call a home PC. Of course, you can find even more powerful rigs, but the price will differ too. If all you want is to upgrade your old Socket 775 machine, a Xeon 5450 processor will fit nicely into such type of motherboard. It is an improved version of a quad-core server processor with 12 MB uh, level 3 cache working at 3 GHz with most Socket 775 motherboards. However, to have it running properly, you need to update the BIOS to add this CPU to the list of supported hardware. Before you buy it, make sure that your motherboard model supports server-type processors, or ask the seller about it. The price for this CPU is $20-25. By adding a bit more money, you can buy some server-type memory. In the end, what you get is a quite a good gaming machine, with a decent gaming graphics card, of course, at least a GTX 750 Ti or better. Certainly, you can find cheaper offers as well, but I wouldn't call them gaming computers, as they won't be able to handle latest games in a year or two. I'd recommend buying other parts locally. Talking of graphics cards, it's not worth buying one from AliExpress, as there are many fake offers with limited performance. Yet, if you decided to take this risk, choose something as good as a GTX 1050 Ti for mid-range PCs and at least a GTX 750 Ti for low-budget rigs. You may want to order a cheap SSD from China, but you should do it from a trusted seller with good recommendations, because many offers give false memory size specifications. It doesn't make sense to order a hard disk from China, as there are high chances it could be damaged during the shipping. As to the computer case, the deliver cost will be extravagant, so don't hesitate to find one locally. You can choose between new cases or purchase a second-hand case at online markets. The power supply unit is one more thing that should be bought locally. You can easily find a good and moderately priced model by Zalman or Deepcool, or go for a cheaper brand but with a good power margin. So if you are looking for a low-budget gaming computer, there is no better choice than ready-made builds from AliExpress. They are the best bargain you can find. With the money you save this way, you can buy a more powerful graphics card and forget about upgrade issues for a few more years. All ready-made builds are tested before they are sent to customers, and AliExpress offers special options for buyers. So if any problems arise, you can have a refund. However, I recommend filming the parcel when you unpack it, because nowadays photos are not enough when you start a dispute about damaged goods. And that is all for now. I hope you liked this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!